Dangerfield also worked as an actor, screenwriter, and producer, in addition to being a stand-up comedian. He was known for his self-deprecating one-liner humor and his catchphrase, I don't get no respect. In New York City, he began his career as a stand-up comedian at the Fantasy Lounge. On October 5, 2004, the 82-year-old died of complications following a heart valve replacement. As an actor, Andrew Keir appeared in several Hammer Film Productions films during the 1960s. He worked in television and theater throughout his career, especially in the 1940s and 1990s. His last major role was as John Campbell, second Duke of Argyle, in Rob Roy. In a London hospital, Keir died at the age of 71 on October 5, 1997. Professionally known as Barbara Nichols, Barbara Marie Nickerauer appeared in a variety of brassy and comic roles during the 1950s and 1960s. After modeling for Cheesecake magazines in the late 1940s, she became a minor rival to Marilyn Monroe. On October 5, 1976, he died of liver failure at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. A British-born actor who mainly worked in the United States, Percy Thomas Carn Warren spent most of his career there. Over the course of his 55-year career on the American stage, he played memorable roles in The Shanghai Gesture, Elizabeth the Queen, Mary of Scotland, Pride and Prejudice, and End of the Thousand Days. On October 5, 1961, he died at Huntington Hospital due to an undisclosed illness. New Get Married Megs Jenkins appeared in a number of British films and television shows. In addition, Jenkins appeared in several stage plays by Emlyn Williams, including The Light of Heart in 1940. On October 5, 1998, Megs Jenkins passed away from a non-communicable disease. Mary Leona Gage, an actress, model, and beauty pageant titleholder, was the first woman from Maryland to win Miss USA 1957. Her title was stripped after it was revealed that she was 18 years old, married, and a mother of two. Gage lived in Southern California from the 1960s until her death. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease was diagnosed when she was in her 50s. Jeffrey Lamont Holder was a Trinidadian American actor, dancer, musician, and artist. Previously, he danced with the Metropolitan Opera Ballet before appearing in Carib Gold in 1957. The villainous Baron Samadhi was played by him in the 1973 James Bond film Live and Let Die. On October 5, 2014, Holder died in Manhattan from complications caused by pneumonia. Charles Lewis Napier was an American character actor who appeared in television and films, as well as occasionally in leading roles. In many of his roles, he played villainous or corrupt police officers, soldiers, or authority figures. On October 5, 2011, Napier died in Bakersfield, California, after collapsing the previous day. He was 75 years old. Leonard Rossiter was an English actor. Among his most notable television roles were Rupert Rigsby in the ITV series Rising Damp from 1974 to 1978 and Reginald Perrin in the BBC's The Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrin from 1976 to 1979. On October 5, 1984, Rossiter died of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Kim Chan was a Chinese-American actor and producer. One of his most recognizable roles was Lo Si, a.k.a. The Ancient, in Kung Fu, The Legend Continues and Mr. Kim in The Fifth Element. In November 1999, Chan received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Screen Actors Guild. The death of Kim Chan on October 5, 2008, was caused by a non-communicable disease. <laughs>